Hey, good morning. Uh, today, I just want to continue talking about what we talked about on Sunday, how we thrive in exile. And one of the ways that we thrive in exile is we, we're in community. We're surrounded by other people. Um, and one of the texts that really talks well about this is Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. And it says this, and let us um, let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. I think about people who are who are in exile. They they need to be motivated um, to to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. So when we're in community with one another, we can. Uh, well, there's accountability. There is encouragement. There's motivation to um, to to keep the faith and to keep progressing forward and keep moving forward. Um, we have the opportunity to listen to one another and and hear what's going on in one another's lives. Um, this is something we talked about quite a bit last night in our Tuesday night small group as we were recover as we were kind of recapping and talking about the message. Just the importance of how or how important one another are as we think about the hardships that we go through in our lives. And community is just a huge, um, is a huge part of that. Um, I think about a, I think about a, a like a fire, right? Um, as, as you add more and more fuel to the fire, the fire grows and grows and grows and grows. Um, but eventually if, 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 if a piece of the fire gets isolated, if the piece of the wood gets isolated, it's going to go out. So what you do is you add more fuel to the fire to keep it going. So in the same way, um, community is very important for us um, when we are living in exile. The people in, um, in Babylon, what they had was one another. Um, they had God's presence with them, but they also had one another. And I can only imagine when, um, when they would talk about um, what their lives were like back in Jerusalem, and they knew that at some point they were going to go home to Jerusalem. I imagine that they were knowing, they were thinking about what that was going to be like. Oh, I can't wait to be back home. I can't wait to do this with you. I can't wait to do that with you. So I really just want to encourage you um, this morning to think about the benefit of the benefit of community when you are facing challenges um, and how community helps you thrive and grow in the midst of those things. So I love you. I'm praying with you and I'm praying for you. And I will talk with you again soon. Have a super rest of your day.